are going to Stoke. Can't wait to have heard great things. And we're absolutely Marvin Stoke. Hello my lovelies, it is day two in Sligo, we've just woken up in our lovely hotel room, there's Jan, went down for breakfast, it was delish, yours was nicer than mine to be fair, was it? Yeah, mine was very dry, it said that it came with compot and it didn't. Mine was off the charts. Yeah, Jan got apple and eggs, I went with pancakes. Uh, it was absolutely lashing rain yesterday, so the most we got in was a walk down Strand Hill Beach, um, but we got here kind of later anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Today is the day that we're going to have fun, so uh, it's cleared up, we're going to go see Mona Moore, Ben Bolden, and then we have a surfing lesson at 10 to 2. Um, so yeah, can't wait, it's going to be the full Sligo experience. You ready? Yeah! Behind us is Mullamore or Classy Bond Castle. We just went out for a nice walk and we took a few pics. <laughs> a few too many pics. <laughs> a few and hundred pics. A few hundred pics and it was so nice. It smells absolutely delicious down here. Really like salty and seaweed. Fresh. Yes. You having a good time? Ball of time. Yeah. So now we're going to the waterfall now, aren't we? Yeah. You might hear the sound of powerful water. And that is because we are just coming up to Glencar Waterfall, which I think is also known as the Devil's Chimney. But because we've had a lot of rainfall, it's like the perfect time to go and see it. And Victoria Falls is very special because it borders Zambia, Zimbabwe, Namibia every fucking time. Wow. Awesome. So we did surfing, it was incredible, had such a ball, we're absolutely shattered. Dinner is until 8 and it's around 6 o'clock so we're kind of hungry. So we got wings, ordered to the room, to the room, as you do, dead right. John. Uh, place called Knox, it's really nice. And what's it like? It's lovely, it's actually very nice. No, but like what's the food? <laughs> we don't know yet, but we ordered it's a tapas place. We've ordered some scallops, some fucking bell. Candle just went out. Good omen for the night. We are in Knox. This is the best bloody croquette I've had in my life. Mantego sweet potato. We've got bow. Janice has just arrived. John is happy. The food is unbelievable, believe it or not. We just finished dinner in Knox. It was delicious. The owner was the nicest man ever. He gave us a little Prosecco at the end. Did? Yeah, which was really nice. And the food was divine. So we're heading back to our hotel now with fingers crossed that we can get a drink in the downstairs bar. It kind of looks a little bit busy, but I would love a gin and tonic. I love a pint. I've not had one in quite quite a few months. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning my lovelies. It is our last day in Sligo and it was meant to be rotten but it's actually so beautiful so I'm raging because uh, I'd say Mullachmore and stuff would have been stunning um, when it's this clear. But uh, yeah, today we are heading to this little cottage cafe down the road so we're going to grab a coffee there this morning. Then we're going to head to Strand Hill and um, we were hoping to do the Voya baths but I actually think they're booked out. But we're going to go to Shell's Cafe and I am wearing a Fiona Lily jumper. We are meeting the Fiona Lily for a coffee because she lives around here. So uh, super excited, come along. Dinners were great and it was so lovely. We just met up with um, Fiona Lily there 